Hi there, I'm Duncan, and I am the illustrator of this book, the brand new book written by M.G. Leonard, Rex the Rhinoceros Beetle. And today I'd like to show you how to draw the main star of the book, Rex the Beetle, right here. So grab yourself your favourite pen or pencil and a nice blank sheet of paper, and let's begin. Okay, so hopefully you've grabbed yourself a piece of paper by now and your favourite pen or pencil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my piece of paper sideways, a sort of landscape, because we're going to draw Rex scurrying along on all six of his feet. And I just have to excuse my little friend here. He's got a horn, so he might be a rhinoceros beetle too, if you just move over there. Okay, so to start off with, we're going to draw his head. And you may uh, know from having seen pictures before, or even looking at the book, that rhinoceros beetles do have very interesting shaped heads. So I'm going to start with a sort of curved downward line, like that. And then we're going to draw a sort of arch shaped line. So follow me if you can. We're going to curve this round and then up to a little point there. And carry on making that point. And that's the top of the horn. Then we're going to come down, across, and join that line up. So that is the beginnings of Rex's head. So this is like the sort of top spike and this is the nose spike. He has a second spike just behind, we're going to add that in now. And there we go, a very rhinoceros beetly shaped head. Next we'll do his eyes. So very easy, just circles with dots in for the pupils. Then a mouth, he'll be smiling. He's thinking about a nice banana he's going to eat later. So that's just a sort of smiley shaped mouth. I drew a little bit of a tongue in there. And I'll colour in the background black like that. There we go. Now next, of course, we're going to have the uh, chunky eyebrows that all my characters have. So two little rectangles. It's okay if they hover above his head. You know, with illustrations, you can defy the laws of nature and physics. So he's got... He's very surprised, he's very happy, his eyebrows are floating above his head like that. Next, the body. So, like all beetles, he has a nice big hard shell on his back, which protects him. So it's a big curved line, comes down like that. And then we'll draw a horizontal line across, up to his head, where it joins his head. And then, his belly. And he has a stripy belly, so that's another curved line that comes underneath joins up under his head there, and we make it stripy, just to make him a bit more interesting. So far, that's head and body. Now we need legs. Now you'll be uh, well versed with insects and beetles, I'm sure, and you know that they have six legs. So we're gonna have three on this side, so he's gonna be walking along. So we'll have one coming down like this, and I'll make it quite fat. I sort of draw two lines and then fill it in to make it a bit fat and chunky. And then a little foot. He has like two little spiky toes. And little serrated bits on his sort of ankles, like that. And then we'll have another leg, and this one could be stepping forward. So another thick line. Another spiky foot. And some more serrated bits. And this front foot could be striding right out. He's about to step forward like that. And this will be up in the air a little bit. And some more little triangular spiky bits. So that's three, and on the other side, they'd be sort of behind him. So we'll draw one kicking out back here. I imagine he's going along at quite a jaunty pace. He wants to catch up with Buster, his pal. And we'll have another one under here, like this. And then another one here. And there you have it. There we have a Rex the Rhinoceros Beetle going for a bit of a jog. If you want, we can add some motion lines by his feet, like that, just to show that he's scurrying along at quite a pace. And also, if you want, his beetle has a bit, uh, beetle back has a bit of texture on it. So what I could do is just draw some sort of faint lines like that to 
show a bit of a texture on his case, on his shell-like back. So there we have it. That is how you draw Rex the Rhinoceros Beetle. So that's how you draw Rex the Rhinoceros Beetle. I hope you enjoyed learning. We'd love to see what you come up with. So if you'd like to share your images with us, please do feel free. Uh, there'll be details at the end of this video about the um, social media channels. So just get an adult to upload it for you and use the hashtag Rex the Rhinoceros Beetle. Until then, keep your eyes peeled for more beetle related things that will be happening over the next few days. Bye bye.